Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Southern Miss TV. I'm Kyra Lampley. And I'm Abigail Troth. High temperatures during the spring season are affecting plant life at one local nursery. And an important walk to raise the awareness of sexual assault took place this past Saturday. Greek Life had a busy week with several fun activities for students to join in, such as the FSL pep rally and the NPHC premiere. And Eagle First held a fashion show on Wednesday for the Hattiesburg campus. All of this and more today on Southern Miss TV. Before we begin today's episode, we'd like to take a moment to congratulate the winners of the Southern Miss Student Media Center for taking home 47 awards last month during the Mississippi Press Association, the Southeast Journalism Conference, and the Mississippi Association of Broadcasters. Congratulations to our winners. Spring fever is rising along with the temperatures, making it the busiest season for local nurseries. Eden on Earth Nursery off of Monroe Road started preparing plants for the spring season in November. Owner Nick Altmeyer said this season was a gamble with bad weather and supply shortages, but business has made a fast start. Where we were last year in sales, uh, we got a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, Easter and Mother's Day is a big, big season, so I don't think it's uh, affecting us yet. Eden on Earth has adjusted to the changing times by adding new plants to his collection of over a hundred species. Altmeyer says there's no such thing as a green thumb and encourages all to give gardening a try this spring. The NPHC hosted their spring premiere on Friday, April 8th. The premiere was the debut of new members into the Divine Nine. The Divine Nine includes the likes of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. We, wanted to we want to congratulate Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter and Southern Miss TV Sports Director Austin Lindsay for becoming part of the Divine Nine. When we come back, Sapa and other organizations on campus host the Walk a Mile in Her Shoes during Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and FSL kicked off Greek Life with a fun pep rally for students. Eagle First debuted their first fashion show last week for the students to enjoy. But first, let's take a look at the five-day weather forecast. Your five-day forecast segment is brought to you by Green Eye Midtown Optical of Hattiesburg. I'm optometrist and USM alum Dr. Katie Edwards announcing the opening of the new Green Eye and Midtown Optical in Midtown Hattiesburg near USM. At Green Eye, we have a great selection of contact lenses and the latest in-style eyeglass frames including environmental choices made from recycled ocean plastics. College students receive 10% off all self-pay services, eyeglasses, and contact lenses. Call to schedule your appointment today. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. You waste house hunting. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Cause everything I touch turns cold. Yeah, everything I touch turns
Sappa hosted a walk in walk a mile in her shoes, a walk to raise awareness of sexual assault during Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter Huey Turlich has more on the story. A walk a mile in her shoes was hosted here at Spirit Park. The main idea was for fraternities to literally walk a mile in a woman's shoe. I have been a student here for a while now. Um, my freshman year, I was assaulted on campus, um, and that you know changed the trajectory of a lot of things for me. And so the campus culture was a lot different then. Um, this would have never happened. This event would have never happened. These conversations would have never happened. And so holding this event is just, it shows the change that can happen and that is continuously happening. Here on Frat Row, Sapa and IFC joined together to host a walk a mile in her shoes. Fraternities marched against sexual harassment and violence. Three of fraternities is, it has a negative connotation all, uh, you know, across North America. And you know, now we see organizations meant are created to shut down uh, IFC or Greek life at all. And I'm glad we're partnering to you know, see how we can be a useful resource in ending sexual assault uh, instead of just sh trying to shut it down. Although all the hills did not make it to the finish line, the event was a success. Back to you in the studio. The fraternity and sorority life started off their week with the FSL pep rally. This event was full of fun for everyone to enjoy. It featured the Divine Nine and several other fraternities and sororities around the Southern Miss Hattiesburg campus. Live music and inflatable obstacle courses were offered for students to enjoy. There was also a 360 photo booth for students who wanted to capture the moment with their friends. This pep rally was the beginning of a week-long event celebrating Greek life on campus. Eagle First hosted their first annual fashion show on Wednesday, April 6th. During the night, students showcased their creativity in various fashion trends. Students put their style on display with numerous outfits representing different eras and cultures. The room filled with students, friends, and families supporting the models. DJ Peach provided the night with fun challenges, door prizes, dancing, and singing. While waiting for the models to get changed between each category, these fun challenges provided great interaction from the crowd and made everyone feel involved. The coordinator of the first year programs, Ariana McGee, spoke about how this event came to life and its ultimate goal. Well, this was actually a recommendation from one of our executive um, team members who is very fashion forward. So we know that USM, we have one of the largest fine arts department here in Southern, um, or in Mississippi in general, but we don't have a social organization for those type of students to be able to connect. So this was to bring something fun and different to the student body, while also, again, connecting creators with each other so they can, you know, deepen those connections and relationships. If students want to keep up with the events Eagle First has planned, follow them on Instagram at Eagle F1RST, the first spelled with the number one. When we come back, baseball continues their impressive winning streak in the sports recap. And there's fun events waiting for students and the community in the community calendar. Stay tuned after the break. Yep, I'm good. Okay. okay. If your husband gets lung cancer from smoking, be prepared to spend a lot of time together. 88179. Just not the way okay. either of you imagined. The people you love are worth quitting for. You can quit. For free help, visit cdc.gov slash tips. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. Southern Miss Student Media Center is proud to offer local businesses an opportunity to advertise on SM2 Digital Media, WSM Radio, Southern Miss TV, and the Student Prince. Promote your business or event with the Southern Miss Student Media Center at USM. Think of your ad reaching over 6,000 students on social media, SM TV, WUSM Radio, and the Student Prince, a combination you can't beat. Our in-house creative team is ready to produce your commercial or digital ad Advertise your business on SM2. Give us a call today. Once 
again, baseball and tennis continue their winning streaks over the past week, and we have it all in today's sports recap with Nathan Lee. Take it away, Nathan. Thank you. Golden Eagles baseball kept up their impressive play last week with victories over number 25 Ole Miss and a weekend sweep of the Charlotte 49ers. These back-to-back -back wins earned them a number 11 ranking in college baseball. This ups their current winning streak to five straight, with mostly just conference matchups remaining in the regular season. Southern Miss grabbed their biggest win of the season on Tuesday, April 5th, after defeating the Rebels 10-7. Ole Miss put the Golden Eagles in a hole early in the game with a three-run second inning to give the Rebels an early 3-0 lead. So the Miss remained unfazed and would control the uh, multiple innings after that to give them a 6-3 lead going into the seventh inning stretch. The Rebels unleashed a flurry in the bottom of the seventh where they scored four of their seven runs to give them a 7-6 lead. So the Miss once again responded to the Rebels' offensive explosion with their own four-run inning to give them the 10-7 victory. Golden Eagles look to keep their, up their winning ways in the matchup against the Southeastern Louisiana Lions on Tuesday, April 12th. Southern Miss will then finish the week with a three-game road series against the FIU Panthers starting on Thursday, April 14th through Saturday, April 16th. Southern Miss Beach Volleyball hosted their second home invitational of the season over the weekend. The Golden Eagles finished the weekend with a 3-1 record in their four matches. But the weekend was highlighted by the celebration of three Southern Miss graduating seniors, Braley Favre, Olivia Hepworth, and Melina, Melina Miller. Southern Miss was able to get by the ULM Warhawks in their first matchup of the weekend in a 3-2 victory. The Golden Eagles would then go on to dominate the next two matchups against the Central Arkansas Beach Bears and the Spring Hill Sandy Badgers with 4-1 victories. Southern Miss fought hard to finish the weekend with a perfect record. Unfortunately, they could not overcome the number 21 ranked Tulane Greenways in a 3-2 defeat to give the Golden Eagles a 10-19 record after the weekend. So the, so the Miss now gets ready to travel to Tuscan, Arizona for the Arizona Invitational. Golden Eagles will face two currently ranked teams in the number 17 Arizona Wildcats and number 16 Long Beach State on Friday, April 15th. So the Miss then finishes the Invitational against the Stephen F. Lumberjacks and the Cal State Bakersfield Roadrunners on Saturday, April 16th. The Southern Miss women's tennis team had a 4-0 had a shutout against the eight, uh, Alabama State Hornets to up their regular season record to 13-3 with a 2-1 conference record. The Golden Eagles started off hot on Sunday in doubles plays with, when both positions had 6-2 victories. Southern Miss would earn single play wins from Monique Burton, Zahana Doss, and Claire Tardival. Claire Tardival is also this week's highlight player for her dominant play all season. Sophomore Tardival has won her last seven play, double play matches with partner Sahana Doss. She extended her single play winning streak to nine over the weekend with a regular season record of 9-0. The Southern Miss women's tennis team has now won five out of its last six matches, and now they are preparing for a road uh, match against New Orleans Privateers on Wednesday, April 13th to close out the regular season. The Golden Eagles softball has recently regained its footing after a mid-season stumble in five out of its last six games. So the Miss started last week with a home shutout against the Mississippi State Bulldogs, defeating the Bulldogs for the first time since 2011. Morgan Linstock pitched a complete game shutout struck at, and struck out six Bulldogs to record her 13th win of the season. So the Miss would then claim the three-game weekend series against the Charlotte 49ers. The Golden Eagles won the first game of the series in part of an explosive first inning where the team scored all five of their runs to win 5-4. So the Miss would drop the second game of the series in an unimpressive performance where they lost 9-1. The Golden Eagles would close out the weekend strong with another 5-4 victory to push the regular season record to 23-16. So the Miss softball returns in an early three-game weekend series against the UTEP Miners starting on Thursday, April 14th through Saturday, April 16th. And that's it for the Golden Eagles Sports Recap. Back to you. Thank you, Nathan. Now let's hear from our new community calendar anchor and all the fun events April still has in store for the Hub City. Take it away, Maya.
Thank you again for having me on. April isn't over yet and neither is the fun. Come check out what Hub City has in store for its community this week starting with Drop the Mic. This performance is a collaboration between the spirit of Southern and the voices from PRCC showcasing their talents in acapella music. The event is free for everyone and will be held live at the Thirsty Hippo Thursday night on April 14th at 8. Everyone, make sure to get your bikes ready for the jump off bike ride. On Saturday, you can bring yourself or a friend to the Longleaf Trace Trail and cruise the city on a relaxing bike ride. Food and drinks will be provided at stops along the route. Free mimosas and lounging will also be provided at the Nostalgia Bar. The bike ride begins Saturday morning, April 16th at 11.30. Pull-off starts at 12. General admission is $25 and can be purchased if you go to eventbrite.com and search bike ride. Looking ahead, next weekend is the start of the 23rd annual Downtown Crawfish Jam. Visitors can enjoy a full day of live music, food, and an abundance of crawfish at Walt Hall Park located in Hattiesburg Historic Neighborhood. The lineup of performances includes the Jukebox Brass Band, Grits and Greens, and many more. The festival is open to everyone in the Hattiesburg community and starts Saturday morning on April 23rd at 11. To purchase tickets and find out more information about the festival, check out the website on the screen. Here at Southern Miss TV, community matters. If you would like to submit your next event for the community calendar, please send us an email at sm2.news at usm.edu with your event details. This is just one way we thank our community for watching Southern Miss TV and supporting us here at Southern Miss Student Media Center. Back to you. Thank you, Nathan and Maya. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Southern Miss TV. I'm Kyra Lampley. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Southern Miss Student Media Center. If you'd like to submit a story topic or be a guest on one of our upcoming shows, email us at sm2news at usm.edu. I'm Abigail Shroff, and we'll see you next week on Southern Miss TV. You did so good. The University of Southern Mississippi Student Media Center is the heartbeat of the USM experience. The center is home to dozens of producers, writers, and visual artists of all types. In addition to news, entertainment, sports, music, and other programming, the center hosts a vibrant strategic communication division. It's made up of teams working on social media, advertising sales, graphics, and more. Everything is produced by students and for students under the guidance of the Student Media Center professional staff. The center is housed in USM's School of Media and Communication, just down the bricks from The Rock and the Student Union. School Director Ed Simpson says the Student Media Center serves as the loudspeaker for the USM student voice and the training ground for the next generation of media professionals. The Student Media Center is where our students get hands-on experience in real-world situations. That's because what we do serves real audiences and real clients. Whatever you see yourself doing, the Student Media Center has a place for you. We ask our students to find the truth and then tell it in a way that's compelling. When students produce something for a live stream or for the radio, they know they got to get it right. Working here in the Student Media Center, when we say hands-on, it's not a slogan, it's what we do. 
The Student Media Center is the voice of the Golden Eagles and home to the next generation of truth tellers, storytellers, and all those with the energy and desire to express their hearts in the fields they've chosen. Join us. Southern Miss Student Media Center is proud to offer local businesses an opportunity to advertise on SM2 Digital Media, WSM Radio, Southern Miss TV, and The Student Prince. Promote your business or event with the Southern Miss Student Media Center at USM. Think of your ad reaching over 6,000 students on social media, SMTV, WUSM Radio, and The Student Prince, a combination you can't beat. Our in-house creative team is ready to produce your commercial or digital ad Advertise your business on SM2. Give us a call today.